Okay, so here's my bitter orange, and I just did a video on my lime tree that has this as the rootstock. However, the one, um, maybe the difference, uh, I was talking about how some people said that theirs remained evergreen, and other people said that they didn't, but this is the flying dragon variety, so it's like very squiggly, and I'm wondering if that's the difference, that the just kind of standard straight form stays evergreen in, in, uh, in cooler climates, and the flying dragon, the kind of squiggly contorted version, drops its leaves. Um, but this is quite a cold, uh, hardy plant. These get about five or six feet tall, sometimes even bigger. Really cool looking. Uh, cold hardy is zone five. And look, I think these are the um, flower buds. Not leaves yet, but I think they're flower buds and they actually smell really good. So, I moved this guy around a whole bunch and I finally settled on this spot here. Look at the size of some of these. Put my hand in for comparison. Kind of deadly, but really cool. Really interesting form on this plant. And this will start to leaf out soon here because I see buds all over it. Um, ones that I think are flower buds and ones that I think are leaves and these do produce small um, citrus that you could use for drinks and stuff it, or you could make um, like marmalade if you use a lot of sugar it's kind of more for ornamental reasons but uh, it's definitely waking up from the winter so I would definitely try one of these they're really cool looking and it's it's nice to have that you know kind of yellowy orange citrus in the fall um, I've not had luck yet it's a small uh, bush Mine has flowered and has started to produce the oranges, but they, they tend to drop off. But maybe this is the year. I'm hoping it is.